Alrighty, so hi. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to get iTunes music backed up, uh, meaning your favorite playlists will all be backed up. First, what you gotta do, open iTunes, select the playlist, and then click File and Export, and then save it as a text file to wherever. I'll save mine to my documents. Make sure it's a text file. And then save. Then close out. Wow, we're done, but not quite. Then go to uh, when. Uh, uh, then go to my documents, my music, iTunes, and copy the iTunes music file to your external hard drive or another partition on your hard drive. Um, so I'm putting mine in shared and create a new folder, name it whatever you want. So I'll name mine whatever. <laughs> whatever. And then paste the iTunes music file. Make note of the location. Okay, and now what you gotta do is open that text file we uh, exported and copy the line C Documents and Settings, your name, iTunes. Make sure to leave out the slash at the end of the word iTunes. Copy that, then click Edit, uh, Replace, and Paste that line you just copied. Then we need to go back to uh, where our backup is and copy the location. As you can see, it's E uh, whatever, and then paste that. And then click Replace All. So now it's just replaced that C Documents setting blah 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 with E whatever, iTunes Music, and so like that. So it's changed the location of w the backup in that file. So now I'm going to perform a real life scenario of an accident happening and the restoration of it. La la la, la. oops, I'm deleting all my iTunes music. Ooh, stupid me. Ooh, darn. Ooh. Oh, that, that's not very good. Oh, crap, and I emptied my recycle bin too? Darn. Well, gonna have to restore that. File. Import. Find that text file. Double click it. And, wow, look what's happening. It just imported it. Ta da! Let me actually explain what happened. Okay, so this is how it went. We uh, first took our iTunes backup, our all our iTunes music, and copied that to our external hard drive. Okay, good. Then we exported the file that has information on where all that music is stored. After we've exported that, we go into that file and change the location it thinks the music is to the backup. So when you need to back it up, it looks in the backup, not the non-existent files. Thank you for watching this JP Films video on how to get your music back from iTunes. Backup. Playlist. Bye. I'm gonna let you enjoy some music. Thank you.